He played 62 games a couple of years ago, and he caught over 100 in 2019. Roberto Perez, the Gold Glove winner, joins us now. All that action leads to a bunch of attention and a Gold Glove award. Congratulations. So, what does it mean to you to win this? Oh, it means a lot. I think, uh, first of all, I want to I wanna thank God um, for giving me the opportunity to play this amazing game, uh, for keeping me health, healthy the whole year. Uh, I would like to thank also the Cleveland Indians um, for believing in me, uh, you know, when they traded John Gomes uh, in the offseason. Um, I want to thank my, my teammates, um, Sandy Alomar that helped me since day one I got called up in the big leagues. Uh, my family uh, that's been there for me, you know, supporting me all year. Um, my mom back at home, she did a great job. Uh, I'm, I'm just so, so thankful and uh, I'm very honored to, to uh, win the award. So when you find out that the Indians are going to trade Gomes and one of those pieces is really close to the majors and maybe next year both of those guys help you guys get over the top, what was the message to you? How did you receive it? How did it change the way that you were approaching the season knowing I'm going to play a lot of baseball? Um, I was I was down in Dominican Republic when I <laughs> when they traded John Gomes. Uh, actually, I got a message from Tito, um, and I, I was just playing. And I I went to the clubhouse during the game, and uh, you know we we just find out that uh, you know they traded Gomes. Uh, but the mindset right away changed. Um, uh, I think you know the first thing I thought was you know the the Indians really trust myself. Um, mm -hmm to get the job done. Um, but I didn't take, uh, I didn't took it for granted. Uh, they shut me down right away and uh, I, went, I came to Cleveland and I uh, started working out and preparing myself for, for a long season. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's different when you play every day and, and, and being a backup. Um, but certainly when, uh, when I was a backup to Jan Gomes, I learned a lot, you know, I, I made the pitchers trust me. Uh, for for so uh, many years, and uh, now that 2019 that I had the opportunity to play every day, I'm just couldn't be more happier. Right. This is not a trick question. Do you know how many pass balls you allowed this year? <laughs> Nine. Zero. Nine. Zero. I, <laughs> what kind of pride do you have in that? I take a lot of pride in my defense. I, I've always said it. Um, you know, to, to, to everybody. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a defensive guy first. Uh, I love defense, I, I take a lot of pride. I'm always trying to get better, try to improve my, it, it, whether it's my game calling, um, throwing guys out, you know, footwork, uh, receiving, blocking. Um, I'm always talking to Sandy Alomar because he, you know, he, he knows me. Um, he know he knows me, and and when I when I don't feel comfortable uh, behind the play, I, I go up to him, and, and he always try to fix it. So uh, I, I really have to give a lot of credit to Sandy Alomar um, because he really he he, he really um, he do it with his heart, and you know he, he does it with me. He does it with Kevin Plawecki. He 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 did it with Gone when he was here. I mean uh, he's an outstanding coach. You had a bunch of injuries this year, especially on your pitching staff. Kluber, Cleveringer was down for a while. We all know about Cookie Carrasco. So you have to develop the Zach Plesacs and the Aaron Savalis of the world. What, what role do you play in developing the young pitchers so that the Indians can compete every year? Um, you know, I was, I, I, I told them every time when they, when a younger guy, you know, by the way, they, they, they did a really good job this year. Uh, the younger guy, Sivali, Pluko did a, Mm -hmm. Great job, um, Sack Police that came up. You know we had so many, so many pitchers that went down and they came up. They 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 felt like they belong here. You know I always try to tell them, don't be afraid to shake me off. Um, you know I, I don't know, I don't know everything. So uh, <laughs> you know I think uh, good good communication with them. What see what they're trying to do. Uh, you know when you get a younger guy, you know you always or a new guy even in spring training, you always try to go up to them and be like. Hey man, how how you want to attack this guy? How do you attack a lefty or a righty? You know, what do you like to do? Uh, and, and that that's kind of like giving them a little bit of confidence and uh, and and a little bit of comfort, so so they can do, um, you know, great things, you know, on the yeah. mound. So uh, that's that's the that's the big thing for me.
I imagine, Roberto, uh, Terry Francona, who worked with me and worked with us, he speaks a language all his own. But what we've seen recently here, Davey Martinez, Alex Cora, a couple of guys from Puerto Rico winning World Series. Of course, Carlos Beltran in New York, you're from Puerto Rico, your teammate, Francisco Lindor. What is the pride that you have in Puerto Rico and the representation in the majors and now with a couple of gold gloves? Man, I feel uh, I feel proud, proud of all of them. Uh, they 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 have represent Puerto Rico so well. Um, you know, whether it's uh, managing, you know, playing like Lindor, Baez, you know, Correa, those guys, man, they they go, you know, they they leave it all on the field. Um, you know, it's it's so it, it's it's an honor to watch them play. You know, they're so young, they're so talented. Um, but it's uh, they they when they go out on the field they 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 are not even I mean they're representing the their organization but at the same time they're representing you know uh, Puerto Rico um, and uh, they they've been doing that for for a long time uh, so uh, I'm just very happy you know that we got now Beltran another right. uh, Puerto Rican uh, managing in 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 the big league so uh, very proud I sent him a text and. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're excited to see what he brings to the table. I know they're proud of you, too. Congratulations. 30 years young and a gold glove winner, Roberto Perez. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.